I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DedSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up DedSec and thrown them in jail. Now, I say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at Toe! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think if anything, DedSec showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find DedSec more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government... Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board.
glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Fine. Resistors, it's bug time. Are you all sitting comfortably? No? Good. That's as it should be. This is the bug. I'm Andy, and joining me to analyze the latest blowflies and emerge from the courts of the ones free Britain, it's Alice. Hello, Andy. And today, we're going to talk to you about Albion. Uh, your friends of mine, Alice. The government has extended Albion's contract and have also boasted that violent crime has plummeted to a record low. Now, extending Albion's contract, to me, as like having a pet dog is called a natural for something that attacks you every single day and thinking to yourself, wouldn't it be nice if Nigel had puppies? <laughs> that contract has been extended so many times, it's like the neck of a politician that's criticised the government. <laughs> Tell you how those contract extension negotiations went, probably not like, like, like a footballer. In the old days, I assume Albion's agent was leaking stories to the press about how our favourite private militia was set up by Barcelona. Which I think happened to me, better get them signed up before it's too late. But still, violent crime, a record low, although I imagine that probably depends exactly how you count it. Do you think you have what it takes? I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. I'm not thrilled about getting my hands dirty, but I suppose one does what one must. One of Sabine's, are you? I'll see you downstairs later then. In for a penny. A dank, pitch-black cellar, just what I was hoping for. No DedSec registration detected. Identify yourself, or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. I'm with Sabine. Who the hell are you, and why do you sound like a mobile phone? Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. It. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. So, Bagley, if not DedSec, then who was behind the bombings? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. 
My God. How'd you survive? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. There aren't many DedSec fans in London these days. Look, I want to help, I do, but joining up with you now verges on suicidal. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? Fine. But you owe me. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DedSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DedSec kit. We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact. Not to mention... with some basic strikes. Hit me. Don't be shy. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. Oh, that's it. <sighs> yes. Nice one. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Couldn't have done that better myself. That's it. There's only one more skill you need to master. Socialization. 
The rest of your team has arrived. Why not go and have a chat? Welcome to the team. Thanks. I'm ready to bring real justice where it's needed. Good day. So we're dead sec now, just like that. Do we get like a training or anything? I'll sell for a pamphlet. Did you get a pamphlet? I think we just have to figure it out as we go. Now that you're all as thick as cyber thieves, Sabine would like to talk to you. Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that DedSec are fighting along with them. I agree. This city is being picked apart by scavengers and they must be stopped. Ireland's controlling you, who are city? Silencing anyone who dares to question them. Yeah, and there's Clan Kelly running all the crime and shit. And I'll be on what left a fucking finger. Fair, but remember that this zero day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. First order of business. The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Earl Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the leading edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now.
if you're feeling out of your depth or like you could use a breather, you can always call on your new teammates to step in. It's your call. That's the advantage of working together instead of alone. I saw everything. I can be a witness. All right. I'm here. In theory, the AR reconstruction should allow me to use various sources of surveillance data to rebuild past events. Access a data relay, and I can scrape all the metadata for this area. Sierra 42, this is control. An alarm has been activated near you. Survey the area. Over. Someone's down! Whoever tripped the alarm, they're gone. All clear. Moving on. Stage to procedure. This autocratic wet dream for a test drive. Data reconstruction in progress. Okay, this is actually getting a bit creepy. You're right. We definitely need this extremely cool thing I want for investigating Zero Day. Shit, for some reason I can't clone it to our servers. All right, access the network here and let's see if we can't find out where to nick one. CTOS Hub. Ah, 
Ha! The SIRS has deployed this technology at their HQ, and I've just nabbed their manual on how to set up the system. Now, Scarpa, you can't steal their toy if they throw you in the gulag. So, Bagley, how do we get our hands on this AR reconstruction tech? The program is hosted on a server that's on the roof of SIRS HQ. All you have to do is grab the whole thing, then take it to a few high-density locations so I could recalibrate it to the Deadset network and clone my own version. What? Take the physical server off the roof? How exactly do you expect me to manage that? We need to find someone with access to a cargo or construction drone that can fly it off of there. Perfect opportunity to recruit a heavy lifter to the cause, I'd say. All right, so where do I find this heavy lifter? Well, let's put our thinking caps on, shall we? Now, who in London would have access to a construction drone? Could it be a construction worker? Obviously. Thank you, Bellend. Not so hard, was it? There's an active construction yard nearby. I dare say you'll probably be able to find a construction worker to recruit there. Here's the coordinates. To the bar. Did you think the Prime Minister will have a camera? I don't think we've ever had a Prime Minister. Well, that's a much more reassuring way of looking at things. <laughs> what have we become? Alice, we look at the state of our politics. We're supposed to have the mother of Parliament. Well, this is one mother that has, in fact, abandoned her kids in the woods to be brought up by wolves. And let me tell you, that never works out like it does in the stories. Wolves are bad parents. <laughs> Unless you're a wolf, in which case they can do a job bringing you up as a wolf. Do not give your children to wolves. I don't actually own anything as a country now. Anything we haven't flogged off for profit. Oh, I think we've basically just become... They look promising. Diluted and diluted until there's barely a Found as someone who knows how to use their hardware. Occupation? Check. Drone? Check. This could be the one. Oh, they have a beastly drone friend. I mean, the person looks efficient too. Uh, this week, we're going to tell to bug off and... Oh, they have a beastly drone friend. I mean, the person looks efficient too. That's fantastic. You look like someone who might want to fight for London. Wait, are you with dead, Zach? I just so happen to need some help. Perhaps. What's the situation? I'm in debt with Clan Kelly. They paid for some medical expenses on my behalf, but they keep jacking up the interest rates. I'm basically an indentured servant at this point. Set me free from them, and I will make it worth your while. All right. We'll see what we can do. Tank Kelly will bleed our new friend dry if we don't do something. This particular construction site is a money laundering front for a Kelly chapter out of Camden Market. Any record of the debt would be stored there. Okay. So secret it is definitely not happening at the usual time and place this month. Definitely not. And definitely do not not tell anyone not not to come to it. It's definitely. <laughs> What's that doing there? Do you recognize him? What are they doing? If you have questions about something, don't have the right tool for the job. You can exchange your gadget for a different one that's better suited to the situation. Looks like these Kelly vermin have built themselves a nice little nest. Quite the operation. You're looking for a terminal or some kind of device that Clan Kelly would have stored the debt records on. Your pirate podcast source for what they don't want. I'm Tash, and this time we're giving a special shout out from us to the boys and girls at the signal right. and intelligence Find out and service. find the target. Better known as Sirs. Why? Full sweep of the area.
inside your vehicle at all times. Let's spin it. up where your teammate left off. I'm sure they'll thank you once they stop eating through a tube. Again? Got to be careful out there. Let's go. While the drones observing your every move might make you feel like you're living in a city-shaped prison, what's bad news for society is good news for DedSec. You can hack those nosy little buggers and use them to scout ahead. raise all record of their debt, putting our new friend back into the black and, more importantly, out of Clan Kelly's reach. Fantastic.
at me. Go! Transfer complete. We cleared your marker with Clan Kelly. You are indebted no longer. I hope you can do something positive with his new lease of life. Fucking lovely. You're not bad for a group of alleged terrorists. Want to put your skills to good use? Dead sec is always up for new... But... All right. I'm in. Let's have some fun. That's the way in which they trap you and talk to you. They operate as each other's crosses. Return to HQ. DedSec resurgence have prompted Parliament to approve the use of lethal force for Albion contractors. CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. DedSec terrorists will quickly find that Albion, unlike the police force of this city, is battle-tested and proven in the field. The Prime Minister's office has called this shoot-to-kill mandate a drastic but necessary... What a time we are living in. Here, your new kit. This is the turning point, right? My normal life gets fucked, all just to join the dead sec party. What's well, normal? When the people that are meant to protect us can now murder us. I know everything's fucked, and I know it has to change. I just... I have a lot to give up, you know? You aren't leaving anyone behind. You're making London safe so people can have a life again. Right. Okay, then. 
I'm ready. Welcome to the Resistance. Right. Welcome aboard, etc., etc. I'll give you the speech later. Right now, we need you and your big, strong drone friend to get on top of SRS HQ and steal a server. Think you can handle that? Heading there now. Station today. All right. I hear you. I hear you. Why, why, why? Seems your mate took quite a bash in and has wound up in hospital. They won't be available for some time. If you're feeling clever, you might consider recruiting a paramedic to the team. It's a brilliant way to shorten that hospital stay and get your teammate back online. Imagine recruiting an Albion guard to DedSec. Imagine pigs flying while you're at it. This place has lost its je ne sais quoi. You know, we're looking at all the wrong things when we look at Britain's crisis. There's a lot of 